Hello, Trent Jesse here again. I'm going to be teaching you today about how to get started off with optimizing your content on your website using a, an SEO plugin, search engine optimization plugin for WordPress. And one of the best ones out there that I've come across is called WordPress SEO by Yoast. Y O A S T. So that's the plugin that I'll be showing you how to install and use today. So to install the plugin, what you do is you log into your admin area for WordPress, and you come under Plugins and Add New, and then click on Search, and you type in WordPress SEO by Yoast. All right, and then once you do that, click on Search Plugins. And once you do, then up at the top, you'll see that plugin that you can install. Simply click on Install Now. A box will pop up, and click on OK you'll be taken to the page where you can activate the plugin so simply click on activate plugin and then once it activates then it's fully functional now you can start using it so after you activate this plugin this there's usually going to be this pop-up that asks you if you want to allow tracking I usually don't mark that so just click on do not track it's up to you if you want to do that or not um, the uh, programmer of that plugin um, built in some tracking mechanisms to uh, you know to observe what kind of um, things you know people use the most and so forth and so once again it's up to you if you want to mark that so now that we've activated that plugin you'll notice down at the bottom left hand side there's a section now that now appears it's called SEO it wasn't there before and that's kind of the nature of plugins if you're new to adding plugins to uh, WordPress but after you add this plugin you'll see this new section right here now there's not a lot that we're going to go over um, at this point right now, we're, we'll get into it a little bit later, but first I just wanted to point out that this section is now there. So to use this plugin, you can come under each post or page to start with. We're going to go underneath posts, and now you can get started off with optimizing your content. And there's another pop-up here. It says here with this plugin you've just installed WordPress SEO videos. You can click on start. Just a uh, quick start a tour that you can click on and you can start tour. If you did that it'll guide you through and teach you about how to use this plugin a little bit more in depth. So it's up to you if you want to take the tour and it can be helpful. So if you click on next you just guide yourself through the tour and it'll teach you what each section of this plugin does. Dashboard, titles, and metas and so that's why I wasn't go, going to go over it because that particular guide pop-up shows and you can go through it on your own time, all right? So we're just going to click on close and go back to where we were originally and showing you how to get started off with optimizing a blog post using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. All right, so if I were to optimize this particular post, this blog post using this plugin, then... Uh, You'd want to edit the blog post. Once you're um, brought into edit mode for this blog post, then you scroll down a little bit, and underneath the blog post, you'll see this section called WordPress SEO by Yoast. All right, and then the snippet preview, I'm just going to go over a few things here regarding these uh, areas. So the snippet preview tells you how your blog post, how this article is going to show in the search engines. All right. So if someone were to go to Google or Bing, so forth, and search for this specific type of article, then uh, this is how it's going to look. So this how it looks. This is how it looks by default, and you can customize it. But now, if you've uh, done your keyword research, then you'd want to put in the focus keyword phrase right here. And just notice if you click on any of these question marks, it'll give you some pointers. It tells you to pick the main keyword or key phrase that this post or page is all about. All right, so what is the, what is the primary focus of this article that you've written? And in this case, this article that I've written is about the top 10 mortgage elimination tips. Okay, and so one of the keyword phrases that um, I may have researched. I'm just going to guess at this point, but you don't want to guess. Do your keyword research and find what keyword, fra keyword phrase or keyword is going to be great that has high demand and low competition. You type it in here. So I'm going to put um, in top mortgage tips. Okay. And as soon as you put that in there, then it's going to give you this little checklist right here telling you 
where the system or where this plugin has found this focus keyword phrase at. So, so far, it hasn't found this keyword phrase in any of these spots yet because we haven't put that keyword phrase in there. But this just tells the system what you're going to focus in on. Okay, this is the focus keyword phrase, and if that's your keyword phrase you want to focus in on, then you put that keyword phrase, you copy it, and put it into the SEO title. I'm going to paste it right here, and you'll notice that as soon as I do that, your snippet preview changes automatically. And it, the same goes for the meta description down here, once we put something in there. So I'm going to paste it down in the meta description as well. Now I can start my customization. Now, the SEO title is one of the first things that people are going to see inside of the search engines. Okay, so when people go to Google and they type in top, I'm just going to paste it since I copied it, top mortgage tips, and I press enter. Okay, these are all snippet previews. This is what you're creating right now. All right? So you want to make your, this is in essence an ad that you're creating. So you want to make sure your ad stands out to your uh, viewers. When people come here and search for specific topics, in this case, mortgage tips, then you want to have their eye, their eyes look at yours so they can click on it and go to your website. So you're catering this uh, snippet preview to two types of groups. First group is to people, okay, and then the second group is to the search engines. And the search engines look first thing at the title is your keyword phrase in the title of your snippet preview. Okay, in the title is the actual and the, you know, telling the search engines of what the uh, content that you wrote about on this page, what it's all about, in other words. So the SEO title, I like to format a little bit so it looks nice. So capitalize you know, the uh, first letters and the words. And then you can uh, put a dash right afterwards and put something along the lines of um, you know, five or you know, maybe five you know, secrets on how to save money. Okay? Now this is not a keyword phrase, but it usually appeals to the human eye. This is for the search engines and this is for the uh, human beings. Okay, when they look at it, because they're going to be once again looking at these um, ads that you prepare, and if it stands out, then they'll, they'll be far more likely to click on your ad than someone else's. And so in essence, you're creating a free ad that Google, once they find it, will present it in front of people who search for it right here in Google. Okay, so that's the SEO title, and there's other tips and tricks that you can get into a little bit later on down the road, but for right now, just make sure you put your focus keyword phrase. It's the same keyword phrase you put here, right here okay it needs to be exactly the same one all right and as long as you do that it'll say and then your little check mark here check less than me is that the page title includes one instance of your focus keyword phrase and that's why it says yes and also says yes here in the meta description as well now you want the meta description to be a, a bit more descriptive, at least two or three lines describing what this article is all about. So I teach you the top mortgage tips that will help oops, help you save. I'm gonna type here today. Help you save money the next time you get your mortgage. Okay. All right, so I've just created a meta description, and if you look at the snippet preview now, it's a bit more um, you know, bulky now, or not just bulky, but it's a bit more descriptive. And that's what uh, the human eye is going to see you know, when they come to Google. They'll see this, more, uh, this uh, meta description right here, just a short description, just telling them what the article is going to be about. And people look at these descriptions all the time. You know, especially if they're interested in um, drilling down on something specific. And so, just uh, make sure that your meta description is targeted on something precise, and you'll do just fine. Alright, so once you're done with the SEO title and meta description, you've uh, utilized you know, these areas as much as you can. And now, you want to go into the article heading, 
the page URL and the content since these sections say no. So you simply copy that keyword phrase in the focus keyword field and the article head heading is all the way up here. Just put a dash and put top mortgage tips right here. I would actually want to take this and blend it into you know, the actual headline right here, so top mortgage tips, um, but since I've already created this article, I'll do that afterwards. And then you want to also put it <clears throat> inside of the permalink right here. When you edit the permalink, you can just uh, click on edit and paste in the keyword phrase right here. <clears throat> so top mortgage tips. Okay, and once you edit it, then click on OK. Okay, and then it'll save it for you. So now you have your keyword phrase inserted into the permalink, which is the direct URL to this actual article on your website. That's what a permalink is. It's a permanent link to this article. All right? So now that you've uh, put the keyword phrase into the article headline and also the uh, URL, you'll also want to insert that keyword phrase inside of the content down below. And it's really important to not sacrifice your the readability of your article for the sake of the search engines. Okay, so in other tutorials, you'll learn about how to optimize your content more fully. But the main thing is that you have the keyword phrase in here, and uh, also make sure to use synonyms or associated words or complementary words that are similar to this focus keyword phrase in the actual content of your article. So there's not this redundant, um, you know, this redundancy going on of the same keyword phrase going on over and over again, and the keyword stuffing or this uh, density. The keyword density is a myth. You don't have to worry about putting your keyword phrase in there a thousand times. Okay, don't worry about that. Don't do it. It's not valuable for anybody, and it's not going to help you out. So just make sure that you've written a fantastic, valuable article that helps someone out with a specific goal and then uh, make sure that you put in your keyword phrase a couple times and then watch other tutorials there on how to optimize your content more fully but this uh, video tutorial is simply teaching you how to use the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin and now that you've uh, learned how to insert the keyword phrase in your focus uh, keyword field and your title uh, you're set to go okay that's just the very basics of using this plugin there's more advanced steps that you can get into and other uh, videos that I'll create, but you know, the page analysis will give you uh, more steps, you know, more uh, details that you can implement to uh, um, optimize your content more fully for the search engines, um, along with the advanced stuff and the social. All right? So these are just additional things that you can do to optimize your content using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks.